Well, I didn't have a handle before. Hello there. The oh, shit. Well, isn't that fun? Hang on. Hang on. I think he died. Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Atomic Heart. So we will continue with the whole thing and also lower the sharpness so it isn't as, um, as sharp anymore. Do I just go? I, I guess I just go. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Wow, how crazy. Hello there. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too. Hello, hello. Ooh. That's a big parade. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change Are the world. Are there eyes supposed to be red? I'm guessing so. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention, they're walking around in a circle. Process of mimetic adaption. What is that thing? To launch a worldwide oh, it's the is the protection thing we saw. At last, a network of humans that looks so disturbing, though. <laughs> Look at that. Control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector thought. It will allow... There's a big boy over there. ...to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries thanks to the thought neural connector you will control robots with your mind my mind Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries you will no longer need control panels cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers documents electronic notebooks etc thought will replace every single one of them and so much more Your look at that big boy oh I just spawned in I just saw that master quantum physics in a day memorize literary masterpieces from around the world this all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple all communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible by a tiny injection of neural power where you will also receive your thought device. In five minutes, in just five minutes, you'll become the future. Yay! As a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots to undergo colonization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0, our marvelous network, will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. This is 1955? Oh, jeez, I thought it was the 80s. Today, and become the among the first. The future is already yours. Well, okay. That's neat. So, so this is like a hive mind they're trying to create? That's a bit weird. Hello there, very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you all. You heard about Comrade Lastochkin's new type of theater? What do you mean, new type? New how? That, my friend, you must check out for yourself. 
I highly recommend it. It's truly amazing. Just don't tell anyone about it until after you've been. Okay, that seems a little bit weird. Alright, let's go. Let us go, let us go, let us go. Report to the lobby of that high rise, comrade Major. They're waiting for you. Okay, that is a hand holding whatever that is. I think that's supposed to be a planet or the sun where planets are rotating around. This is why I thought it was the 80s, by the way, this car. I mean, I guess it could also be the 60s and all. Honest, even 40s, now that I think about it. <laughs> oh well, let's go. Let's get out of here. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, natürlich. Oh, it means naturally. Okay. I, I didn't know he was going to use German. Ooh, look at reflection. Ooh. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I don't look like there's too much space. Does not look nice to me. Um, what now? Oh, okay. Just thought made about the future. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure there are sensors in, in current day as well. That is so bright. Do I have to stare at the screen or can I sit down? No, I'm, I'm forced to stand here. I believe they added a window or something. Final I'll stare, stare at this, at least that's something. Wow, it poops out six of those and, and they all go into the same one. How crazy. You know what this game needs? Elevator music. Just saying. Would be very cool right about now. But, but how, how high are we going? This is not a hidden loading screen, right? I think we are slowing down. There we go. It was very realistic, by the way. I remember my elevators being like that. Ooh, right. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Oh, you just kind of made a key for me. That's nice. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Are they wearing clothes? It looks like clothes. I guess they might be wearing outside their middle bodies. Oh well. Uh, I don't know where he is though. Okay, I guess you ladies just do whatever you want to do. I don't... Okay, cool. So where, 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 where do I use the key? Over here? Oh, I'm just, I'm just going down again. Well, great, great experience. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind. I mean, that is pretty true. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. 
Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Okay, that was kind of lame. I was really hoping to not sit in an elevator for a long time. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. For the awesome aesthetics, I will forgive it. Oh, and, and... Uh, I don't know, I was about to say something, but I forgot. Oh well, was there not been important then? Let's continue. That's one hell of a but this is, this is my car. Gas guzzler. Please um, secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is Well, I guess this is one way to drive a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, I just came from one of them. I get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. So my question is, do they actually drive, though? I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. <laughs> okay. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying that is a good pigs. question, yeah. Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? I mean, that would work too, I guess. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. We don't have a brain, though. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. What is this statue? Now, more importantly, how does the ground look like? Is it just barren, or...? Is the, the brown uh, plague still down there? I also noticed how he called the German guy a brown noser. I'm guessing that's because of the brown plague. Um... Bum bumblebee thing I, I can't I can't see anymore and and the mood suddenly changed because oh never mind now it's bright again oh I was worried for a second wait it's raining oh no it's just going through a cloud okay. audio guide 
We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. Kind of pretty. Yeah, kind of pretty, yeah. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing what? robot assembly and distributing machine parts required Oh, not by a plant, but like a, a power plant, a robot plant. Controlled okay. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node. A plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. So is this also a flying platform? Because if so, it's a pretty extensive one. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. I mean, it must be a big platform then, right? We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland monument, erected Oh, in that's supposed to represent to the motherland, as in woman. In okay, World I see. And are now what? entering the grounds of the Vavilov complex. The site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Okay. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. All right, I mean, so far, pretty cool. Major, the trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. He didn't even use a seatbelt, apparently. Always use seatbelts. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. You're not gonna turn on me, are you? What the hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. What? Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator. Yeah, you don't say. Fuck off, oh, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I I'm wish falling. I could. No, no, you're being sucked up. Okay, that's not very nice. That's pretty rude of, of the, the robots. I, I, I just got here and, and well, all right. I, I definitely think it has somewhat of a Bioshock feel to it. The atmosphere is pretty cool. 
Although I think still think Bioshock had a more weird atmosphere. This one is a bit more scientific. Wow, but by the way, the um, the chromatic aberration. I wish I could turn it off because it's so extreme right now. <laughs> oh, shit, my head's killing me. Ugh. Maybe you can in settings, actually. So I, I see a bunch of dead people, I think. And perhaps a weapon. Ooh, it's an egg. It's okay. So now we get to taste the combat. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Well, all right then. Oh, that's it. There's a pig. Okay. What the? Don't attack me. The chickens are freaking killing me. What the? Stop that. Already dying to chickens. <laughs> How great. Anything over here? I still think the movement is a bit fast when you're trying to walk, and then it's a bit slow when you walk backwards. Like, why not the same in both ways, yeah. I also think I might go ahead and change, um... Wait, give me a second. Field of view to 90. And... Was there something else? Large, small, medium, large... No, nah, nah, small is pretty good. There is really no way to turn off the... The HUD. Uh, well, the, 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 the reticle. It does not look like it, no. Okay, fine then. Don't kill me. Can I put... Can I defend? Oh, there's just quite a few of them. Deal light damage and then to deal heavy damage. Alright, got it. Ooh, and then I can... Okay, I see. Stop attacking me. You're very rude chickens. Come on. This is how you loot, apparently. At least loot bodies, in any case. I think that's the one that tried to murder me. No, oh, that's the one that tried to fly me. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm still getting murdered by chickens. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Just avoid the chickens. Don't let the chickens see you. As long as the chickens don't see you, they can't hurt you. There's also no sprint so far. That's just the chickens. What the shit? Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 
He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Are you gonna murder me? Come on! Anybody! I can't breathe! Come on, this is clearly a trap set by the robot. I can see you. Somebody help me! I'm gonna die in here! Did that stop him? Get me out I... of here! Oh, it forces me to help. I'm very... But you can see through! Okay, fine. Get away from me. Oh, that's just nasty. Oh, my face. Go fuck yourself. Uh, you pretty much have to kick him. I don't think I can do anything else. Ooh. What are you oh, grandma. Almost oh, Granny Cena. Give me your hand. No, oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me, Zena, Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So, what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30, 30 seconds, seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! Oh. Good. Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. Oh, what Jesus. Here we go. Right Can I have that? Two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. For some reason, they're not as high as he is. Bit weird, but okay. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Oh my goodness. Where did Granny go? But Granny, no. When, no. Why? Why are you doing this now? Come on. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Hey, language, dude. Language. Oh, oh! I have new abilities apparently. But this, yeah, this is how you loot. Okay. I've heard about the loot function in this game, and everyone says it's satisfying. Although, personally, though, I do like looting things manually. There's just a charm about it I enjoy. 
But if this is it, then it's fine. If one game has it like this, it's hope a billion games don't copy it. I mean, you don't sound robotic, so there's a high chance you're actually human. Uh, I, I will open door, okay? Wait, where, where is door open thing? Oh, it's, oh, it's over here. I cannot open door, although I should probably answer you. I'm sorry that I'm not, but I really cannot do anything about it. I was thinking that I thought it was a sausage. You okay, can't just pick that up normally. <laughs> okay. They can hear you. Okay, that, that's, that's fun. But can they though? Oh, I don't want to be here actually. I, I hear stuff. All right, I can turn this now. Uh, please be patient. Well, I didn't have a handle before. Hello there. Oh, well, isn't that fun? I think he died. I, th I thought I picked up a gun. Weapon wheel hold. Why are these buttons so weird? I mean, I'm going to change the buttons after this, I think. Ooh, shotgun. Oh, the, the weapons feel nice, though. Like, it feels nice holding it and using it. It feels natural. Although, I still don't have a sprint button. I'm a little bit sad about that. And dodge. Can I dodge forwards? Yeah, I can dodge forwards. I can dodge backwards. Can I dodge sideways? Yeah, and then sideways again. All right. Well, um, I will have to end this video right here. I know it's bad timing because we're getting into some interesting stuff. But uh, yeah, it's um, we're now in an underground facility where people seem to be getting grabbed. So that's going to be fun, especially for that guy who's just kind of hovering there. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking, subscribing and sharing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.